guys, it's Lena here for Superimpose X and in the next five videos, I'm going to show you how to use the editor tab by breaking down each individual feature. Today, we're going to take a look at the brush section. Remember that all changes made within the editor tab are permanent, so you won't be able to go back and change them later unless you undo them. First up is paint, which lets you draw on the image. There are several different types of brushes available for different types of effects. In addition to changing the color and size of the brush, you can also change the brush tip or even upload your own. If you choose a file with a transparent background, it will use that silhouette as the brush. And if it's a regular photo, the brush will be a transparent grayscale version of that image. Use the sliders to adjust the spacing and pressure of the brush, as well as how scattered the symbols are. You can also adjust the size, angle, color shade, and hue variation of the brush tip. If you want to use these particular settings again, you can choose to save the current settings. And under zoom, you can decide if you want the brush size to automatically adjust to how much you zoom in on the photo, or if you just want it to stay the same. Then we have effect, which also lets you add fun symbols to your photo. The settings are the same as for the brush feature, except that you can combine different symbols instead of being limited to just one. With shapes, you can add stickers to your photo, and there are lots and lots to choose from. You can adjust the width of the outline, change the color of it, adjust the opacity, and even add a drop shadow. Smudge can be used to smooth out harsh lines, like in this masked out portrait, for example. There are several different types of smudges available. And as always, you can of course also change the size of the brush. Then we have clone, which can be used to remove unwanted objects from a photo. Simply place the circle over the part that you want to copy, choose a brush preset, adjust the brush size and settings, and then paint over the area that you want to cover. Clone can also be used in the opposite way, to duplicate objects in a picture. Here, the option to flip the clone horizontally or vertically will come in handy as it will make the photo look more natural. Lastly, there's Retouch. For each feature within Retouch, you can adjust the size and softness of the brush, as well as the strength of the effect. The features consist of Desaturate, which decreases the color intensity. Saturate, which increases the color intensity. Darken, that makes the painted area darker. Lighten, that lets you brighten a certain part of the image. Soften, which smooths out the area and works great for retouching skin. And finally, Blur, to add a blurred effect. And Sharpen, to increase the sharpness. That's all for the brush section. I hope you found it helpful. Don't forget to check out our other tutorials for Superimpose X. And as always, if you have any questions at all, you're always welcome to send us an email through the contact us option inside the app so that we can help you out from there. Bye.